Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to install Apache HTTP server and then we will try to integrate that with WebLogic Server 14c. And we will also cover different type of errors which you might face during this integration. Let's begin. Let us quickly see the architecture. We have a virtual machine and in that uh, we have already installed Oracle WebLogic Server 14c. We want to see how to install Oracle WebLogic Server. Uh, you can refer my previous videos. I will put that link in the i button. In the same machine, we are going to install Apache HTTP Server, and uh, we will integrate that with WebLogic Server. In our requirement: we are running both the same machine. The bigger use case there can be multiple machines uh, where Apache and WebLogic can run separate machines. So here you can see we have two web servers and uh, each web server is connected to different different managed servers. So by this we can achieve high availability of web server and managed servers. To install Apache, which is also called as HTTPD web server. We will use yum command. We are giving minus y option so that it will answer all the questions as yes. Our installation is completed. Now let us start our HTTPD server. For that, we are using system ctl command and check status by system ctl status. Our server is up and running, and the uh, Apache server runs on port 80 by default. So, let us try to access that. Let us try to access Apache server. So, you can see it is running on port 80. To integrate Apache with the WebLogic, we will require proxy plugins, and uh, we can download that from oracle.com. Here we have plugin for different version, but we are looking for 14c. So here you can click, and this is the zip file for the plugin. So this is the zip file which we have downloaded. Now let us unzip this. We have another zip. Now we will unzip this as well. Again, we have a zip file inside this. So, whatever files are inside this zip file, we will put uh, those files into WLS plugin directory. And inside lib folder, we have our WebLogic plugin. We'll have to copy this module from here to HTTPD module. Just copy this HTTPD. Now we will have to add a load module in HTTP.conf. Let us do that. Here we can add a load module for WebLogic. This is done. We can save this file and try to restart our Apache server. You can see we are getting an error. To see more details, we can run this command. Here we can see it is failing due to this module. In order to solve this, we will have to perform further steps. So now we will have to create WLS plugin.com. So go to this path. So we are Creating WLS plugin.conf 
file here. If you remember this path is the path where we directed our plugin. Run LD config and then reboot our system. The reboot is completed. Let's try to start our HTTP server again. So again, we are getting some failure. Now let us try to check more details. This time we are getting some different error that is related to SE Linux. So let us disable that. Go to etc SE Linux config. And here we will change SE Linux from enforcing to disabled okay. and we will reboot again our system is rebooted let us try to start apache server again and we are seeing some error let us check more details and here you can see we are getting some different error and this time it is failing due to lib crypto so for that we will have to install OpenSSL 1.1 So let us do that Downloading OpenSSL 1.1 using WGate For that I am going to U02 software And I will download it here So it is downloaded let us extract now we will have to compile this go to open ssl folder and run config command here we are getting a error related to Perl, so we will have to install Perl as well for that run yum install Perl. Our Perl installation is completed. Let us try to run config again. So this time it was successful. We'll run make command now. So guys, don't worry if you get this types of errors. I will share all the steps in the description. Now we will run make install. So this is done. We will have to create some symbolic links. Now we can check open SSL version. So you can see open SSL 1.1.1 is installed. Uh, let us try to start our HTTP server again. And now it is started without any errors. Let us check status. So yeah, it is running. Now we'll add a location tag in httpd.com file so that we can access our WebLogic console using Apache web server. Let's do that. We can add this tag in the end. For this, Apache web server will forward this request to WebLogic server. Let us restart our Apache server and check again. We will also have to start our WebLogic server. Let us start that. You can see our WebLogic server is started. Now, as per the rule, if we remove 7001, it should work. 
and you can see after removing port number also it is working so our rule is working let us try to log in so here i am adding one more server in the cluster we'll have to take lock and edit and in the configuration you can click new and here you'll have to specify name of the server so it will be WLS server 2 listen address is my host name and port number I am giving 7004 and yes uh, this server is a part of cluster next finish now I will assign this server to a machine And I'm assigning it to same machine, save and activate changes. Now we will start our node manager and start these servers. Our both the servers are up and running. Now we will add another location tag so that uh, our Apache server can redirect request to both the managed servers. For that, I have already deployed a web application that is sample web application. And here you can see, so here you can see we have two URLs for both of the servers let us open that we can see it is giving us response now if we remove port number from here it is giving us not found because we have not added any rule for 7003 and 7004 let us do that so we'll go to conf http decon and we will add another tag here so for this context it will redirect request to cluster nodes that is 7003 7004 on oracle vmweblogic.com save it and restart http server now we can try to access this urls so you can see it is loading now to check if both the servers are getting those requests we can shut servers down so you can see now we are running only one server and this application is still giving us response now you can see both the servers are down and if you refresh it is not going to give us response now we are bringing server 2 up to check server 2 is working or not you can see our both the servers are getting requests and our rule is working you can also check access logs in the web logic to see if both the servers are getting request or not that's it for this video in the upcoming videos we will configure ssl we will also see how to create data sources and we will cover msq creation as well for more such interesting videos like my videos 
subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification also uh, leave a comment so that i can cover different different topics for you thank you